Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. We got to talk about this case that's really bothering me at this point. Um, if you guys don't know, on Instagram, I posted a video that's going viral right now. It's of a lady named Malia Jackson. So basically what happened is that the father took the daughter to go get her hair done. And once the mother seen it, she flipped out and started cutting the little girl's hair. So this is what the father is writing on his Facebook page. He says, I snuck up on my kids at daycare. They're really country, y'all. I snuck up on my kids at daycare. They mama Jayla don't let me see them. And I took my boys to go get their hair cut. And I got my baby girl hair did. Look what her mama do. Just because I got my baby hair did. I'm Gucci, but my baby hurt. But females talk about dead beats this. Why some niggas say fuck that shit. And remind you, she also smushed my baby birthday cake on her birthday last year. My girl gonna always have hate in her heart. Daddy gonna get custody soon, baby. Hold on for me. <laughs> Told y'all their country is fuck. Anyways, watch this damn disturbing video. My baby said nobody did be crying. I don't care. I told you stop playing with me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Oh, Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. Hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl My baby sat there for two hours. My baby said nobody did be crying. I told you, stop playing with me. They motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. So Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. Hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feelings. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. All right, y'all just seen that video, and that shit pissed me off. You know, just the fact that the mother would even take it there with the innocent child. So, of course, people started chastising the mother, like, what are you doing? Why would you do that to your daughter? And then you see the father's recording, like, what are you thinking? And this woman literally has absolutely no shame whatsoever. This is what she had to say on her Facebook. So she says, y'all hoes big mad by my baby hair, ain't it? You hoes must want a bump or something. Let me know. But like I said, I'm going to say it again. I don't need no hoe putting their hands in my daughter hair when I'm a braid of myself. Just not getting my girl hair to grow. This fuck nigga know. And even said the Africans can't get her head because they braid too motherfucking tight. And girl hair was tight as fuck. Damn right I cut it out. Now you mad bitches, who minding my business? Not the ones that pay you. Y'all can eat my ass after I take a shit. Talking assholes. Don't be knowing what the fuck going on. Now why would you now why would you pay somebody to braid my baby hair when her mother a hair braider? Come on now. He did it to pick. So fuck y'all and his pussy ass. Okay, ma'am. That was a lot to read, okay? And then she had the middle finger emoji. Can't forget that. She had not one, but two, but three of those bitches, okay? So then, of course, people started dragging her and she disabled the comments. And then she came back and she wrote this. And yes, I cut that bullshit out my baby head because I don't need no whole dick gripping hands in my girl head, period. He only let a bitch did it because he know I don't play by nobody putting their hands in my daughter hair. Bitch, go play with them other kids. Don't play with mine, period. So that's what she had to say. And she has 15 comments on here. And then somebody was asking her, you know, who did the hair? And she says, that hoe can't do hair. I don't know who did it, but I cut it out because he ain't get my permission. I mean, this is just really sad. I mean, have we gotten this petty as adults that somebody paid another adult to braid your child's hair? To basically, you know, re you know, relieve some stress off of you, obviously. Because your previous post from yesterday, bitch, you were saying, y'all, where can I get hired on the spot? I need another job ASAP. So obviously you have a lot of shit on your motherfucking plate, bitch. Being that you need to get another job ASAP. So how about this? Maybe the father took her to go get her hair braided because that's just one less thing for you to worry about. Now you don't got to worry about doing her hair and getting up early, getting her hair together and everything else. Why can't you just be grateful? 
Regardless of what issues y'all have, regardless of what animosity that's there, that has nothing to do with the child. If you don't want somebody braiding your child's hair, then you address that with the father and you leave it at that. That is not your right to go and take scissors to that child's hair and cut out her beads, cut out her braids in public in front of everybody. The little girl was sitting there crying tears. Tears were just streaming down her eyes. You don't do that. As a mother, why cause her embarrassment? Why do all that? You did it because you're spiteful and you're bitter. That's exactly why she did it. Because she's mad and she's trying to take her anger out and her frustration that she has with the baby's father. She's trying to take it out on that child. And that is sad. And the father better wake the fuck up. While you're sitting here typing all this bullshit on Facebook and looking for attention and likes and trying to go viral... And trying to have the black male collective run behind you and give you props. Your ass better be down to court fighting for full custody. Because if she can do this in public to your daughter. In front of you while you're recording on camera. Imagine what she might be doing to that baby behind closed doors. So don't just be on Facebook typing about hold on baby. While I go and try and get custody. Your black ass better be doing just that. Trying to go get full custody. Because this is abuse. This is bullshit. There was nothing wrong with that hairstyle. The hair was well braided. Beautiful. The woman added beads. And he's not lying about it taking two hours. Okay. So somebody put a lot of work into this. And then you just come along being bitter. And cut the stuff out the little girl head. It's just sad that you got to that point. Where you feel like it's okay to traumatize your child. And cut out her hair in anger. As opposed to being an adult and just telling him how you feel about the situation, leaving her and her hair out the situation. And once again, and this is why I keep telling people, men and women, be careful who you procreate with. Be careful who you knock up. Be careful who you make a mother. Be careful who you make a father. Be careful who you allow your body to bear a child for. Because this is ridiculous. You got too many people out here having kids willy-nilly, getting pregnant willy-nilly, and then discovering after the fact that they really hate the mother or the father. I mean, this whole display is just disgusting, and it's really, really sad. So anyways, y'all, this situation just pissed me off. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning this country Bama-ass couple and their beef basically spilling over and not affecting their daughter. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys feel like the mother was all the way out of pocket? Or do you feel like there's ever a reason to do something like this, to cut braids out your child's hair because you don't want another woman braiding her hair? I mean, that is just disgusting to me, and I feel so bad for that child. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not not least don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad honey so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces